If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Last week, we started a short series on eloquent relationships. What we're doing is we're theoretically creating this game and we're implementing these relationships to deal with different things that we would run into in a game. Last week, we did the one-to-one -one relationship. Today, we're going to deal with the one-to-many relationship. Now, whereas the one-to-one -one relationship is the most simplest, the one-to-many relationship is the next step up in that level of simplicity. So if we go down to this one-to-many in our relationships, you can see here that it defines relationships where a single model is the parent to one or more child models. And that's the difference between the one-to-many and the one-to-one. -one. For us, the last one we did was a user has one character. Well, a user could have many characters and have different sorts of things along those lines that's how that would work we are going to deal with it a different way to separate those concepts but as a gist that's what that means for us we're not going to be using comments we're going to use them as messages so let's say there's a message board or you want to contact your partner in the game or whoever it is you can send them messages so that's the idea that we're going to deal with in talking about this one-to-many relationship in our little notes file here i am going to create the next entry into our list of things to do and this one is going to be a one to many belongs to and has many and here i'll just put messages so really all we're doing is grabbing the user has many messages and then the inverse of that will be many messages belong to a user. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. Since we already have a user model going, the only thing that we'll need to add here is the messages model. So we'll open up the terminal. And here we can do artisan make model and we'll just say message. We'll also add the migration for that. And now we can just drop this terminal. In the database folder migrations, we'll go ahead and open up the most recent one, which is messages. And we'll go ahead and start working in here. Now, the first thing that we should do is add our user to this. Now, what we can do is just use the user ID, and this user ID will link that user to this messages table. It won't put the user in the messages table, it'll just link them to this messages table. We'll add constrained cascade on delete some people have asked me what is exactly cascade on delete basically what it means is if you are refreshing or doing anything like that removing certain fields from the database you want to make sure that the relationship to whatever those models are that relationship is also deleted and that's what it means by cascade on delete it just cascades down the chain of connections that it has what do we need for the message i think we're going to just keep it as simple as possible We'll just make it a string and we'll say body. We'll just call it a message body. We'll leave it at that. So let's go ahead to the model now and add this field in the message model. So it'll be body. The first one that we're going to deal with is the user has many messages. So we need to add this relationship to the user model so that we can say that the user has many messages. We'll go ahead and open up the user model here. And under this character, we can do as many. Again, I am using an extension to help fill these things out. If you want to see the extension that I'm using, I have a video listing out all of the extensions that I'm using with some additional things, but that pretty much gives you a good idea of the different sorts of extensions I'm using to handle this. The thing I like about this extension is that it also adds notations in here. So for us, we are going to change this comments to messages. So the notation here is saying that we want to get all of the messages for the user. Go ahead and import this has many. And then we'll add message here because that's what we're trying to target. Now we don't need to import it or anything because Laravel is clever enough to know that this is a model that we will link to this current model that we're in. The way that I read this to remember how things are working and to make sure that the relationships that I'm using make sense is in the model that I'm in. So I say user has many messages. This means this model that we are currently in. So this user model has many messages. And then we're passing in the message class here. Now again, because I'm using the extension, it is bringing in the foreign key and the local key. We are doing things using conventional methods, so we don't need to have this foreign key or local key here. 
go ahead and get rid of that. Now what we can do is we can open up the web route and start building out this functionality. So to start us off, I'm just going to copy from the original setup that we did with the one-to-one, -one, and I'm just going to paste it down here, and then we'll work off of it. And I'll also bring in this thing. We'll come down to where it starts, and I'm going to give this a little space in here. And instead of one-to-one, -one, this is going to be one-to-many. And then instead of user has one character, we're going to say user has many messages. So we'll go ahead and create the user, just like we did with the initial one. And then instead of this here, I'm going to create a variable and we're going to make a couple of messages for this user. Here, this will be message one equals, we'll have the user. And instead of character here, this will be messages because that's the relationship that we just created. User messages create. And this will be instead of username, we'll say body. and here, we'll just put fake word, really simple. Something to note about this is that if we do not do it this way, if we go to the message model, you can see we only have the body as the fillable, but in our migration, we had user ID. What this is saying here is that we are grabbing this user, which means we're using the entire user model. We're attaching messages and then we're creating. So it's going to insert using this variable. It's going to insert that user ID without us having to do anything else. If you wanted to do something like this, instead, this would be message one. And then you would do message make or message create and then have in here user ID and then put in that user ID. You can do that as well. This is just a bit more of an efficient way of doing it. This user has now made one message. Why don't we do two messages? And then here we can return view. Well, for now, I'm just going to keep that commented out. And then because we are using the welcome route, which is just a slash, it's not really pointing to anything else except for the welcome view. I'm going to refresh the page and it's going to create these without us having to create a bunch of them. But the first thing that I want to do is because we just filled in our migrations and stuff like that, we don't have this in our database yet. Since we were working on it the previous day, we have some information in the database that we can just remove. I am going to run fresh so that it'll drop all of the tables and then rerun and add the new messages table that we just have. Here's our messages right here. And I can go ahead, close that, go to the browser, and now we can go ahead and refresh this. It should have added some messages to our table, but since we don't have anything on the view to display, it's not going to show anything. Let's go and take a look at the database and just make sure that we have messages in there. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and then we'll open up the messages table. And as you can see, we have two messages here. The user ID is one. That is the new user that we just created. Should refresh this. This is the new user that we just created. And this is the user that has created these messages. So let's go ahead and see if we can display this on the front end now. We can go ahead to the welcome blade and utilize this page to visualize what we just did. But before we do that, I do want to change this. I want to comment these out just so that when we refresh, it's not creating new users and new messages. We don't really need to have that kind of drama going on. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create this user variable. And then we're just going to do user find. We'll just look for that first one that we just created. And then here we'll do messages equals user messages. So now here we can just do messages. We don't really need to bring in the user for this. We just wanted to find out what their messages were, which means in the welcome bleed, we'll go ahead, copy this, and I'm going to paste it down here. And instead of one to one, it'll be one to many. And then instead of users, username, I'll do users messages, get rid of this. And then here we can do for each messages as message. We'll bring this up. Well, what we can do to further drive the point home is instead of this, we'll say user. And here it'll be user messages as message. And then here I want to do two things. First, we'll do message. ID. And now we can do message body. 
this, I'm just going to comment this out. And now we should have the message ID along with the message body. Okay, look at that. We have the user's message and we also have the body of these messages with the addition of the ID numbers. I want to also add a closing parentheses just so that we can make that number look a little bit clearer. Just like that. Now that part of the relationship has been done. We can do many messages belong to the user, which will be the inverse of that. So to do that one, we can come to the message model and now we can tap into that user with a function. This part of the relationship is going to be a belongs to. The user that owns the message and then we'll import that user is the function. So again, this message belongs to the user model. Here's the model. Here's a function. Just understand that if it's a single resource that we're attaching, then this is typically single. Whereas in the user model, because we had many messages, then the plural is true for this model. We have many of the model messages. Here's a user. Again, we're using the convention. We do not need these. We can leave that at that. In the web.php now, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let's see. I'm going to remove this one since we're not using it. And I'm also going to comment this out. And here it's going to be many messages belong to the user. So again, we're going to find the first user and we are going to be tapping in to the messages. So we'll say messages equals message where make sure that you import that where the user ID, because we have that in that table, equals the user ID. And then we'll just look for the first one. Not a big deal. We'll just look for the first one because we want to find this user through the messages. Here we'll do the same thing with the view. And here we'll use the message. I'm going to do it like this since it is singular is we're only going to be using one message to look through it. Let's go back here and we'll uncomment this one. The easiest thing that we can look for here is the message user's name. So here we'll say message and we're essentially looking for the same thing. You're going to look for the message, the user relationship to that message. And then we want to grab the name of that user that's connected to the message model. Okay, look at that. The user's name of the message is Ulysses Robel. We also could have used the character's username. There are a lot of things that can be done. The most important thing to emphasize here is that you can not only connect the relationships, but you can reach into the relationship and grab the user information from any of the messages that we are targeting. If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help out the channel. Here's a video YouTube thinks you'll like. And here's a playlist to follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.